Palimera. That's about all I can say. <laughs> I, I hope English is okay for you. If it's not okay, I think there is translation available in headsets if you need it. Good morning, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. It's great uh, to be here in Athens uh, and to uh, help launch Greece 2020. Uh, I think it's a crucial initiative for your country. And I'm so thrilled to see a room full. They promised me 260 people. I see people stand in the back, so it's an amazing turnout and um, a big compliment to the organizers of the event. Um, what I want to do is take you quickly around the world to tell you how does the rest of the world think about sustainability. And then I'll bring it home to Greece to say what would that mean if you are serious about making Greece 2020 the platform for the sustainable development of the Greek economy going forward. I represent WBCSD. Um, we have about 200 large global companies involved in efforts of sustainability. Two of these actually are Greek, uh, Titan, Cement and PPC are amongst our members, but the rest you basically see a whole range of global memberships um, around the world. Next to that, we operate a global network. Um, here in Greece, our partner is Ceph BCSD. I cannot pronounce this in Greek. I, Marcos tried to educate me, but it was too hard for me to remember. So Ceph BCSD is our network partner here. And like Ceph BCSD, we have other networks in 65 more countries uh, around the world. So what we do is we think about and work with business on sustainable development. And we've learned over the years that it's a pretty complex puzzle. And we should not shy away from recognizing the complexity of what we're trying to deal with or what you here in Greece have to deal with if you want to get Greece 2020 to really perform. And why is it complex? Because everything in the modern world is related. You know, whether you look at your economic statistics, whether you look at your social cohesion, whether you look at the environmental boundaries like Minister Maniat has just described, or whether you look at the role of government, both here in the country but also in the, in the international arenas. It's a complex world. The mistake we sometimes make is we do not think well enough about the interdependencies between these complex areas. So I've scribbled four numbers on this piece of paper, or on this piece of projected paper. And the puzzle for you is to guess what the relationship between these numbers is. And all of you will be now cranking up your left part of your brain. Your mathematical training will kick back into motion and think, geez, what is the relation between these numbers? And there is no mathematical correlation. So I apologize for you being woken up now. I'll, I'll show you some, some actual pictures with this to then illustrate, is there now anybody who understands what the relation between these pictures is? You still probably don't even know what they mean. So let me, let me help you out. Top left, 750. Is 750 billion dollars per year? That's number one. Six, every six second, somewhere in the world, a child dies from hunger. It's another number. Every six seconds, a child dies. 18, Thousand children die each day from hunger. 11% uh, of the world's CO2 emissions, three times the water in Lake Geneva. Uh, my office is on the Lake of Geneva. It's a big lake, very deep, three times the water in the lake. So what does this have to do with each other? It's the food we lose and waste in the world. So half the food, 30% 30, 30 of the food in the world gets wasted. Half of that is the result of it not leaving the farm because there is no access to markets for smallhold farmers. The other half is because we throw it away. We just cons we buy more than we can consume. What this illustrates is that food loss and waste is, is an important topic to some people, but it has massive economic, humanitarian, environmental, and climate change implications. And that is, that's my number one message to all of you. All topics in sustainability are interrelated. If you just try to fix the economy or just try to fix the environment, you're not going to fix the system. We need to think about systemic change and holistic. And there is a growing amount of crises in the world 
that lead to very visible impacts. This, of course, is the terrible storm in the Philippines. Uh, as we speak, last night again, nine people lost their lives in the Midwest of the US as a result of tornadoes. But here in Greece, I would argue, there's as sincere a crisis going, but it's less visible. It's a social crisis, which leaves 65% of the people under 25 without a job, or 30% of the people unemployed. Livelihood for millions of people in Greece is at risk. It's not as visible as this, but it's as big a crisis, easily. So my, my real call on business is, what are you going to do? And this is me talking to you as business leaders. Are we going to take the lead in providing solutions for these challenges? Are we going to build a world that looks at the systemic crisis, comes up with systemic solutions, and where business takes the lead in providing these solutions? I'm not saying business can do this on, on its own. It needs government, it needs civil society, but business has the power, the finance, the management skills, the alertness to take the lead. And that's really why I'm so incredibly interested to see Greece 2020 succeed. The one message is, please do not bring nice CSR pet projects. We need scale. We need scale quickly. And solutions need to be scaled up at high speed. So to scale up solutions, business needs to do three things. First, it needs to innovate solutions. And for that innovation, it better uses a priority framework. And I'll give you a suggestion for what that framework would be. Secondly, business needs to consider the business case for sustainability. Why must business get involved in sustainability? And how do we actually do that? And thirdly, collaboration is the only way forward. There's not one business, there's not one business association that can deal with the sustainability challenges in the world or the sustainability challenges in Greece. We need to do this together. And again, I've complimented Chairman Fidalis last night. There is no better example anywhere in the world where so many associations of businesses have come together uh, that I've seen, uh, as I've seen here in Greece 2020. So great compliments to bring all the associations on board. So what is sustainability? Um, we concluded last night in a dinner where there were only 15 or 17 people that if you asked each of these 17 people write down what sustainability or sustainable development means, you probably would have gotten 17 different answers. If I do the same here, I would probably get 200 different answers. So we at WBCSD have written a piece called Vision 2050. It's a long-term vision, far out, and I know there's very few people in Greece who worry about 2050 at the moment. Tomorrow is hard enough, and 2020 is already very long-term, I know. But this is the dot on the horizon. We're going to move to a world where 9 plus billion people will live. We want them to all live well. We should stop losing children dying from hunger or preventable diseases. And we should all together get back within the boundaries of the planet. Today we're overstretching our planet. We cannot continue to do that. So what we've done is we've said Vision 2050 is great. It's there, but it's too far out. Let's work on Action 2020. Very similar to your Greece 2020 plans. Let's make actionable <coughs> solutions ready for implementation by 2020. We have worked with 800 scientists around the world. We've asked them to bring us the facts on the planet, on society. We have created a set of priorities out of those facts. And out of that, we have created a set of business solutions, things that business can implement to fix the sustainable challenges of the world. These are the priority areas, nine of them. The green ones are what we call natural capital elements. So it's climate change, nutrients, ecosystems, harmful substances, and water. The blue ones are what we call social capital. So it's um, basic needs and rights, skills and employment, and sustainable lifestyles. Nine is OK if you're a professional in sustainability. You can kind of remember the nine. For an audience like yours, nine is an impossible number. You will not be able to remember them by the end of my speech. So I'll tell you the big four. There are four things you need to remember, and I would argue all four are highly relevant to your country. The first one is climate change. 
You agree, you don't agree, it's not that important. Greece is a land of islands. The islands are under threat by rising sea, by changing uh, composition of ocean water. Um, climate change is a big thing to worry about. Ecosystem degradation is the second one. Big thing. Minister Maniatis was at the Congress uh, last or yesterday. Uh, you opened it. It's a big thing in Greece. Unemployment. Minister Hatsiakis, good morning. Um, unemployment, and in particular youth unemployment, is a massive issue worldwide, but certainly here in Greece. And the number four priority is inequality. Inequality damages social cohesion. Without social cohesion, business cannot succeed. There's a very famous saying, business cannot succeed in a society that fails. And that's a saying that applies to your country. So innovate business solutions. Let me take the example of the road to Paris. As you may or may not know, at the end of next year, the world will gather in Paris. And the world will talk about climate change. And this is the goal that the world is aiming for. It's maybe a bit hard for you to read. It's not that relevant, but we've set a goal. The world wants to stay below two degrees warming. It means we can't put more than a trillion tons of carbon up in the atmosphere. I'm not going to expand on it much. If you wanted to talk to me about it, I'm more than happy to do it. But this is kind of the threshold of what climate change can handle. We have now worked out, with the global companies, 12 big business solutions on what can business do to stay below a trillion tons of carbon. Some of these will be relevant to your country. Renewable energy has got to be one of them. Uh, maybe CCS is, maybe reforestation is. Energy efficiency in buildings, in cities, in mobility will certainly be. So these are all solutions that your business community can easily adapt. You can talk to us and we'll help you implement them and get Greece to move on its way. This picture is just to remind ourselves of what I said earlier. When the economy is tough, or very tough, as it's been in Greece, new pollution problems emerge. Because some people in your country can't afford traditional sources of energy and burn wood and other sources of material in their stoves. That leads to toxic pollution at this very moment in houses and in parts of your cities. We need to also start to think about this. Improving the business case. Improving the business case is all about the changing world of transparency. I don't know what the word transparency means in Greece, but in the rest of the world, it's going to be a massive push. We need to get more transparent. Do you and your businesses pay your taxes, is the first question that people will be asking you. What is your social impact? What is your environmental impact? And do you disclose it in a way that makes sense to the reader, to the capital markets, to the insurance companies? Because we live in a world where as a result of climate change, insurance companies will take a different view of your business soon. You better start understanding what insurance companies will mean. Stock markets will look at these things differently. Sustainability indexes and indicators will be introduced at stock markets. Integrated reporting as concepts will be introduced in the world and will meet and the shores of Greece and therefore implement your businesses. In short, the governance of business will need to become more transparent and broaden the scope of its disclosures. And that's going to come your way. And I would suggest you look into it. The rules of the game will change. So I'm incredibly pleased to be here. I'm also incredibly pleased to announce today that the World Business Council for Sustainable Development will formally partner with Greece 2020 and support you in any way possible. If there are things we can do to help your initiative, we will do them. We will come out, we will bring you our global learnings, and we will take your learnings back to the rest of the world. So three more slides and then I'm out of your way. Greece is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. I told the ministers last night that when I left for Athens yesterday, I was having breakfast with my son. He's 13 years old. 
He's in the secondary school, the high school. And one of his major languages he gets taught in school is Greek. I have no idea why. I am <laughs> not trying to be disrespectful, but Greek is not one of the major international languages, but Greek is one of the old classic languages standing for a classic civilization. And that's a heritage that all of you own. It's a brand that all of you need to help defend. And the brand has been damaged. Let's face it, the crisis has given international audiences a view of Greece that is probably not a fair view, but it's up to you to rebuild that brand. And business has more interest than almost anyone to be in the lead of rebuilding that brand. So bring us your biggest, brightest, and boldest ideas in Greece 2020. Right next door in this building, I know both ministers uh, are very busy putting the basics back in order in society here. For business, it means all kinds of things. New legislation, the burden of proof is shifting, uh, the need to pay taxes should be mentioned. And these things are, of course, true. You cannot succeed in a society that fails. And society needs to be reset. But what is most important of all the messages is you've gone through a crisis. Some will argue you are still in a crisis, but it's beginning to look like you're on an upward slope. If you look at these examples, three companies, Shell, Nestle, Nike, they are all leaders in their sectors today in sustainability. Each of these companies are global leaders in sustainability. Each of these companies started their journey to, towards that leading position out of a terrible crisis. Brand Spar in the case of Shell, Baby Milk in Africa in the case of Nestle, and Child Labor in the case of Nike. And that's what I wish you. Do not waste your crisis. It must be clear to all of you that the way that the old way of working worked is not a recipe for success. We need a reset of society. We need a reset of the role of business. We need business to now step forward and put in the solutions. We need to use the crisis that Greece has gone through to build a better Greece, to build trust in society, to rebuild the brand of Greece internationally, and to make Greek business the success that it deserves. And if we get that done in Greece 2020, you will give such a big gift to society. And that's what I wish you. Great success in your undertakings. We at WBCSD will help in any way we can. And good luck today in your conference. Thank you.